Hello and uh, welcome to the Jenkins Infrastructure Team meeting. We are the 14th of February uh, with uh, Mark Waite, Stefan Mel, Kevin Martins, and I. Um, as announcements, uh, so weekly is in progress. I think it's good. Uh, you'll check that uh, just after, after this meeting, I think. We, so, checked and and Mark, yeah. we checked prior and everything is good except for the container images all other parts and pieces oh and we've got to check that the the change log has been published to the official location it's approved i don't know if it's yet or uh, yet actually arrived um another announcement uh, there will be a plugin advisory tomorrow and that's uh, right. That's right. Plugin security advisory tomorrow. And I'll take the screen so I can more easily. Let's see. And your preference is if I hide this one. Let's see, where is how do okay, where is oh there it is. This is the one. That way we can see full width. Is that what you wanted? Um if I can uh, take the screen share so I can. Oh, sure, um, you bet. Should be able to, yes. Uh, which screen are you seeing? Is it good? Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Notes. See the notes. Okay, perfect. So, um, so next weekly will be uh, next week. So, next LTS, I don't remember. Phoenix. March eighth, two dot three eighty seven dot one. I'll I'll put that in the in the notes. Uh, we hello. Yes. And uh, so I don't think there are other uh, upcoming uh, calendar events. Not that I'm aware of. So we can switch to the Dawn issue. Uh, the first one is uh, one user uh, who used his uh, email instead of his uh, username to log in. So no issue uh, whatsoever. Uh, the uh, 500 error he's got when using his email is the normal behavior of the application, I think. Not perfect one, but the current one. Uh, missing documentation on, on plugin page, uh, it was. Uh, an error uh, I've merged um, the Docker Builder image, uh, uh, if, uh, renovate, renovate, but uh, merge the Docker image, uh, a Docker image um, which wasn't uh, 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 working for a plugin site. So I reverted this merge and then uh, the mm -hmm. Plugin site uh, uh, was able to to retrieve the readme of the plugin of this new plugin. So all good about that. The artifact caching proxy breaks third party Maven repository uh, between all the commands we had on the initial uh, artifact caching proxy issue. I we've missed. Uh, a command from Jesse uh, warning us about uh, some uh, dependency artifacts not in uh, Maven Central. So I have added the uh, exception for elemental release and also Chimera release and Chimera snapshots in the Maven settings. So the artifact caching proxy isn't mirroring this repository. Everything except this one. I don't know how we 
can easily, or if there is a way to identify a similar case or of, of artifact not published in Maven Central. Maybe Jesse will come back on this. I, yeah, I didn't ping him specifically. So I think these three are the, the ones he noticed earlier. So we should be good. We will Don't you think we'll they, would have, they would have seen if there were more no for now? Maybe, maybe. After a week? Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. Um, let's see update of for instance yeah. with the last LTS version. Uh, no issue whatsoever with this one. Questions about uh, OS level build dependency was uh, a plugin developer who wanted to to know uh, how to use um, uh, some Python dependency. He, he done that by uh, modifying the Jenkins uh, pipeline to run uh, pip install requirement uh, .txt uh, to install uh, the BZT dependencies, which isn't in our image. Python 3 and virtual env are already in our image. So all good from there. BUM is a Terraform module for AWS EKS. Uh, Damien worked on this issue and got some trouble with uh, the Boston volume on the node has uh, the, the AWS uh, uh, controller or autoscaler uh, doesn't uh, automatically uh, assign the, the correct node for the new pod depending on the Boston volume and there was an affinity issue about it. Depending on the zone, if I remember correctly. So we, we fix, we fix that uh, by adding um, node affinity or, and or taint on the uh, storage, storage class. And uh, yes, that's it. Uh, and uh, the autoscaler configuration. And he also added a free, free node, one per uh, zone. So we are sure there is a, uh, at least one node for each node in each zone. Hmm. The, the next issue is about uh, deprecated uh, plugins, dependencies, I think. And uh, they, they have been uh, removed from uh, all our instances. So, and the next one uh, is uh, the removal of the, uh, I don't remember, I think, uh, yeah. Uh, Tim has been uh, granted uh, manager access on this uh, mailing list to Thank you, up. Olivier, Oops. to have uh, taken care of that. Good. Now, on the work in progress, the I'll take that there. Terminate uh, build stuck in queue on Afra CI. Uh, we've noticed uh, that when uh, Afra CI is uh, rebooting, um, restarting, uh, um, running jobs are uh, stuck. In fact, that's paused. Mm. I discovered yes. that by by clicking resuming, it's it's going back like flawless. Yes. We don't know why uh, they are paused, but they are paused. Might be an issue with 
or instance configuration and or C plugin. We don't know yet. Uh, there has been a, um, a phrase here, uh, restart uh, some time ago. I didn't check yet uh, for the job. It needs to be resumed. It, it, it yeah, happened again date. yesterday. I have uh, I've merged um, I've done a modification to uh, to add uh, to force uh, Jenkins controller to use uh, IPv4 on Afra CI. Uh, we've received uh, Jenkins advisory. Uh, um, yeah. Uh, Jenkins else advisory uh, saying that was a problem because uh, the, some threads were stuck in uh, IPv6. Mm. Uh, so merging this pull, uh, pull request for seeing the controller to use uh, IPv4 uh, made this instance reboot. So we might have some build to resume. I will check. Reintroduce certified caching proxy for CI. Uh, at, uh, last Friday, I've. Uh, We've switched uh, the BOM uh, build uh, to use the artifact caching proxy. It works as expected, and I'm now uh, working on uh, switching the, on uh, making the run uh, Maven uh, shared pipeline library function to use the artifact caching proxy too. So the remaining nine uh, repository using um, uh, Run Maven uh, will uh, automatically use artifact and ship proxy, including uh, Jenkins core. So work in progress too. Uh, the next two issue add uh, private KHS and public KHS. Uh, we are planning uh, to work on this. We were waiting for the weekly release. And uh, the f one of the first uh, migration we'll do is to move uh, release.ci.jenkins.io uh, from prod public k test to the new private k test. Um, and uh, the other services uh, work, uh, currently work running on the prod public k test, but we will announce it on the mailing list before. Or the major one like uh, LDAP. Realign uh, repo that's uh, Jenkins CI.org mission uh, work in progress too. Uh, we, I don't know if we received the last uh, GFROG logs to see if there was an. Yet, I'll that. send them a reminder today. I assume that usually we'll I'll receive them end of day Monday or early Tuesday. Okay. Uh, renew the signer certificate for Jenkins. Also, like uh, like the one last one, document the code signing certificate renewal process. Is uh, our two issue we will work uh, on it together. I think with uh, Mark and Stefan. Right. So we'll the three of us will get together. I'll schedule a session for that. We'll we'll do it. I may even schedule it through Zoom and record it. Um, certainly, I won't publish the recording until after we've decided if the recording is safe and didn't disclose any secrets, etc. But but there's no harm in recording it and not publishing it. And so all GitHub action version are pine, pine and tracked. Uh, we okay. didn't have time to work on it since last week, but we and still have the. Yeah, and you plan to use that uh, automated yeah. uh, tool? Uh, tool, yeah, uh, multi to yeah. automate uh, the pull request creation on Sounds awesome. each of these repository. And the last one, uh, frequent pager duty alert. Uh, Damien uh, uh, made a pull request on uh, the Puppet repository. So each of our Azure uh, VM agents are now uh, ephemeral. We don't recycle them to reuse them uh, 
five minutes after they finish their job, jobs, and uh, he also increased uh, he increased the disk size from uh, 128 uh, gigabyte to 150 gigabytes, and he also switched them to premium SSD. Yeah, Since we should we've see got uh, a decrease in the Azure budget, we can allow this. It also will uh, decrease uh, the Windows build time, which is uh, uh, which is why I uh, I uh, keep the, this issue. And uh, in the to do, uh, yes, we have the work in progress uh, issue. We'll switch them to next uh, next weekend. We we Thanks. may have to bring up the the one to uh, upgrade the Kubernetes. If I'm not mistaken, it's uh, it start to be close to the end okay. of the. I think. Okay, nice to, yeah, okay. Need to check, but Need I think. To. We'll work on this uh, together if you want. Yes. Don't think we have some here. No. Okay. And the packer um, that you're working on are not in, the, in that uh, help desk, so. My work is not shown. Can you tell us a bit more about it? Oh, yes. We discovered that the ARM images from uh, Docker for the, the agent used by the Jenkins Infra were not built. In fact, they were built, but they were not published. And now I'm working on a way to, um, to have uh, both Docker ARM and AMD. And I think. I managed that this morning. I want to double check with Damien, but uh, it sounds uh, it sounds not too bad. Yeah, for okay. now it's 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 a mess because there's my fork and uh, a branch in close to main because I need to try it as tags to make sure that it's built when it's a tag. That's why there is two uh, pull request pull request which are close. Uh, uh, if I didn't may, make any mistake, they are the same. Okay. Uh, I think it's all for, uh, for the so issue of this week. I just raised one um, that I detected this morning. Uh, the There's a null pointer exception. I reported as a help desk ticket, and Hervé suspected something that needs your help because I think it's pipeline library somehow stable-2.387, the, the next LTS branch has been created. That's good. We like that. It's It gives us time to three weeks before we, we actually reach that release point. But the job is failing with a null pointer exception in the pipeline library. And I suspect okay. we're we're trying to, to call something that is, we're dereferencing null and it just needs someone to look at it. Okay, no problem. I'll take a look at. Oh, in fact, it's even it's in with artifact caching proxy. So yes, it's it's definitely in code that that's familiar to you. <laughs> nice. Okay, uh, I think that's it. Have a good day. Great. Good day Thanks, and... everyone. Recording should be uploaded, I hope, within the next two or three days, depending on how I do it, getting things recording, recordings uploaded. Thank you, Mark.